Episode 4! In this episode, we see a bit more of Second Prince Dida, and while one of his scenes played, we got a metric on the King rankings. King Bos was rank 7, while a low rank is 90. Earlier, we saw his exploits during a war, which got him his kinghood, and I imagine his massive combative strength is what people might shallowly think of him. He is physically, like, 15 feet tall, no exaggeration. Dida is pursuing a strength like that without understanding what it is to make someone so highly ranked as a king. It was obvious in episode 1 what kind of compassion King Bose felt for his people, and I suspect someone like him chose Hilling as his queen because of the compassion she has shown and not the ruthlessness of her introduction. Anyway, as for the actual episode, we get some time to slow down a bit as Boji and his companions go on their journey. He has the opportunity to learn some lessons about the world along the way as well. And the audience gets to see the dynamic between the party of three, including the playfulness and stern lessons. We also meet a really strange hunter and learn a bit about the world. This episode does its job as a traveling episode. Without it, it might feel like Boji didn't travel very far, but with it, we spend our real time watching the crew go to the next location. In terms of forwarding the plot, the episode really just works to better establish characters and fleshing out the world a little. But it does end with a scene that leaves you with a huge question. And the only way to answer it is to watch the next exciting episode. And the only way for you to find out what the question even is, is to watch the dang darn show already! Uh, 